Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong. I've got a borrowed laptop here with uh, Windows 8.0 and what we're going to do uh, in, later in a later segment, we're going to show you how to convert from 8.0 to 8.1 for free. But first we're going to show you how to get the classic start menu that you're so accustomed to using ever since, I don't know, uh, I don't know when that came up, probably XP, but maybe before um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and head on over to your web browser. In this case, we're just using their Internet Explorer. If uh, if it was my laptop, I would probably put Chrome on it, but to each his own. But I'm going to just hop over onto Google, um, and we're going to do a search for a program called Classic Shell. That's a free program that somebody wrote uh, so you can have your start menu and retrieve all the things that you're being driven mad that are not there anymore so okay so now we're on Google we're going to type in classic shell and you should find results instantly let's go to classicshell.net it's the free software let's see here so they're going to have us download classic shell I'm sure and if you want to you donate and show your support, um, this is a free and open source project on SourceForge.com. Let's click on Download Now. Looks like they have 4.0.2 out now. I'm not going to save it. I'll just let it run after it downloads. And follow the prompts. Click Next and Accept and any affirmative things like that. Create a Start Menu folder. Sure, that sounds good. Um, yeah, so all the defaults should be pretty well what you're going to want. Yes, that sounds good. So, yes, next, okay, any affirmative clicking should be going on about here. Uh, I don't need to view the readme file necessarily. It's not going to let me deselect that, is it? Fantastic, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to click finish. And it looks like I have a start menu button now. Check that out. So, oops. Uh, I did not right click it. I guess I just uh, left clicked it actually. But it's, it's checked the uh, enable start button. You've got the arrow which has the symbol of a shell. You can switch to classic that's got a start button or some custom image I guess if you want to choose one. Basic settings. Uh, let's Let's go to I like the Windows 7 style. I think I'll keep that. That's what I'm used to. Basic settings. You got left click opens the classic start menu or Windows start screen. Lots of different options on here obviously. But it's very as you can see it's pretty much instant. So the shutdown command you can customize that just like you could in Windows 7 Vista XP. Um, I don't know what the oh the metro screen I should remember what this is I think the metro screen might be the screen with the apps so you can skip past that and that will enable you to go directly to your desktop which is what a lot of Windows users demanded is hey I want to go straight to my normal desktop not this uh, metro screen with all the fancy touch screen apps so that's what that is it skips over that uh, skin that you can use that's up to you and so there's different options of, uh, of different icon sizes. Customize your start menu here in the rightmost tab. Um, actually, I just kind of want to see what the defaults look like here. So um, I'm not going to back up my settings, but it looks like you can back up your settings if you're going from um, if you have a lot of specifics that you want to specify or uh, customize there. You can back that up and then load it from the XML file that you backed up. So you don't have to click and click and click if you really customize the heck out of this. Um, show all settings. What's this? Ooh, there's more settings. There's just, what's this? Uh, looks like it's divvying up the same commands maybe into more tabs. Anyway, you can look through there. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna cut to the chase. Let's change that to the classic looking button, and let's hit OK and let's try it out. Boom that just happened. We're in Windows 8 but it feels just just like going home. We're, we're, we're back to Windows 7 here and it feels really good. You've got your all programs and here's all your 
classic shell all your programs are right in there this is fantastic whoever wrote this yeah you need to you need to donate to these guys this is great fantastic anyway um so uh, we'll in our next video we're going to be showing you how to go from 8.0 to 8.1 for free so it's very simple to do check it out thanks for watching god bless okay actually a couple extra tips here um, first of all you may be asking well how do you get to the metro screen because if you hit your start button it just brings up your handy dandy regular start screen well um, two ways you can do that if you click here uh, at the very top it says the start screen it's actually the metro start screen here so and then you can hit your it so it does toggle that using there you can also still uh, go to the upper right hand corner and click on the start button there so either way you can still access your apps now one uh, one thing that you probably already familiar with but uh, if you right click on let's say wordpad um, normally there's a send to on Windows 7 and, and earlier in this case there is not so if you want to instead of send to desktop as a shortcut which used to be a command uh, now you can still pin to start menu um, or taskbar which is down here but if you want a shortcut on your desktop you want to right click and drag not left click like normal right click drag instead of copying or moving just create a shortcut to wordpad right there so that's how you create a shortcut I'll go ahead and delete that um, so that's pretty much all we have for you and uh, thanks again